Good morning and welcome to worship on this third Sunday after the Epiphany. Special welcome to our visitors and our guests. We're glad that you're here and uh, hopefully you'll find our worship service strengthening to your faith, um, challenging to your life, and uh, comforting to your places in your life that you need some strength and comfort and healing. So that's the goal today. I'd like to share a few announcements with you before we get started. Um, I didn't say too much about the um, insurrection, the capital invasion uh, last Sunday. I think I had a little bit in the prayers at the end of my uh, and uh, and at the end of my uh, sermon as well. Um, but today I want to um, say um, prayers and condemnation to uh, those who stormed our capital. Uh, what, a little over a week ago now. Um, may God bless those who lost loved ones in that uh, horrible day. And may God bless those who um, participated in the riot. May he bless them with justice and with accountability uh, that their lives might be uh, and their actions might be, they might be held responsible and, uh, and given a new start, uh, hopefully so that uh, they can move on, uh, certainly away from violence, at least. Prayers for also um, members of our congregation and uh, friends of our congregation. Prayers for Jan Baker. Uh, Jan and Ed, many of you know them. Uh, Jan has been moved to hospice care. I think last week I announced that she was at Munson Hospital, um, but she has not done well. Um, she has suffered from dementia for some time. And we just pray that there's um, comfort and um, maybe an okayness, that she's surrounded with people, certainly, who love her and care for her as she comes to the end of her life. Um, we also pray for her husband, Ed, uh, who's continuing to rehab from his broken heel and uh, trying to care for Jan in her last days as well. So prayers and love to you, uh, too, Ed. Our prayers for new COVID cases um, continue. Uh, we pray for Melissa, which is Paul Turner's sister. She lives with Paul's dad, and uh, so we pray for both of them, certainly. Uh, but Melissa, we pray that her case of the virus is mild and she recovers quickly. We also pray for Jeannie Sykes. Uh, many of you know Jeannie, um, Mary Gillison's uh, sister, and uh, that has since moved to Florida, I believe. And so we pray for Jeannie as she recovers. Also, congratulations to Ann and Norm Holm, who celebrated recently 48 years of uh, blissful married life together. So congratulations, Norm and Ann, to that, for that. We pray for uh, Donald Trump and Mike Pence as they transition into a new part of their life. Uh, beyond um, the administration of the executive branch. And we also pray for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as they begin their administration. Uh, we certainly pray for peace and unity uh, that would come through a sense of justice and connectedness and responsibility to one another. So I pray that we continue to love one another the best we can, uh, that we speak the truth to one another in love, and that we love one another um, always as truthfully as we can as well, knowing that the truth resides in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, kind of been a tough week and a half. Um, I pray that worship today, the gospel reading, the other readings uh, from Shirley and Gary, um, remind you of what's important. I pray that uh, my sermon, which is probably the most political leaning sermon maybe I've ever preached um, without naming too many names. Um, I think you'll get the gist of things. And uh, so I ask that you pray for me as uh, we go through today's worship service. Also special thanks to Lisa and Carrie again for providing us with some wonderful music that continues to bless us uh, and uh, lift our spirits as well. So thanks for that. And uh, we'll see you soon. God bless you. Amen.